class today, we shall be learning on a sequence and series, and we shall look at this example. The first one is the sum of the first eight terms of an arithmetic progression, AP, is 220. If the third term is 17, find the sum of the first six terms. So here we shall apply the formula, SN is equal to N over 2, then in brackets 2A plus N minus 1, close the bracket, like that. So for this case, SN means the sum of the numbers that you have been given. For this case, it's 220. We shall say 220 is equal to N is the number of terms which have been given to be 8, divided by 2, then open the brackets, this one becomes 2A plus N, for our case, our n is 8, so 8 minus 1 gives us 7, so we have 7, 7, then this one is b, b is there, I mean, into the formula, so this one becomes 7b, then you close. After this one, we shall now say 220 is equal to, this one will be 1, this one will be 4, then becomes 4, 2a plus 7b. So we shall open that bracket. When we open it, it becomes 220 is equal to 8a plus 28b. So this one becomes our first expression. We shall go to the second one, which we shall say if the third term is 17, find the sum of the first six terms. So this nth term will be given by a plus n minus 1 and then b. You know that for this case, our b in all the cases is the common difference. So we shall come here and say, now this one, our end term for this case is the third term. So our third term will be equal to a plus n minus 1, that one is b, where n means 3. So the third term is 17, is equal to a plus n becomes 3 minus 1, that one becomes 2b. So for this case, this one becomes our equation 2. So for this equation 2, we shall compare with the other one. That one was 220 is equal to 8a plus 28b. And the second one is 17 is equal to a plus 2b. We shall solve them using elimination method. So here, we shall put this one there, then 8 will come here. So when we cross multiply, it becomes... 220 is equal to 8a plus 28b. Then this one, this one becomes 28b. This one becomes 17 times 8. We can just do it on our calculator. Uh, that is 17 multiplied by 8. Gives us 136. Is equal to this one when we multiply. It gives us 8a plus this one gives us 16b. So we shall subtract this one, two, 220 minus 136 will give us 84. Then the 84 is equal to this one will give us 0. Then 28 minus 16 gives us 12b. So we divide by 12, divide by 12. This and this goes. So our value for b becomes 84. 84 divided by 12 will be able to give us 7. So our common difference in that expression is 7. We can go ahead and look for the value of a. And we, we can pick this equation and say 17 is equal to a plus 2b. Where there is d, we replace with 7. This will become 17 is equal to a plus 2 multiplied by 7 gives us 14. So when this one comes on the other side, it will be 17 minus 14 is equal to a. Therefore, the value of a is simply equal to 3. So the question was, if the third term is 17, find the sum of the first six term. So the sum of the first six term will be calculated as n over 2, then that one is 2a plus n minus 1, then d, like that. So this one will be sum is 6 over 2, this one becomes 2 multiplied by a, our a is 3, we we'll replace 3 then plus n is 6. Then minus 1, common difference equals 7. We replace it here. So that at the end of the day, we shall have this one gives us 3. Then when we open the bracket, it will give us 6. Then plus this one is 5 multiplied by 7. We close the bracket. So that this one becomes 3. 
is going to become 35. That 5 plus 6 will end up with a 41. And then this one will be multiplied. 3 multiplied by 41 gives us 123. So the sum of the first six terms is equal to 123. Thank you for watching this class and have a good day. Bye.